I'm often asked, John, man, I can't play. The, the pace is too slow. There's people in front of me. Come on back, I'm gonna talk to you about pace of play and how to deal with it. So I'm out here on number two, Falcon's Fire. I'm playing all by myself and what do I come up with? There's a foursome. Two people are way off to the right, two people to the left. You can sort of see them driving around. Pace of play is gonna be slow. This video is for a couple of friends of mine, Tom and Beth. They asked me, how do I deal with this? Well, first off, notice I don't have a ball pegged up yet. I am not gonna peg up a ball until they've absolutely cleared and they're abs I'm absolutely ready. How do you deal with pace of play slow? Well, if I've got friends with me, if I've got fellow players with me, I'm gonna talk to them. I'm gonna engage them in some conversation. I know they're gonna do with me, so why not do with them? This is gonna pass the time, keep your mind off of, hey, we're moving sort of slow. The more you deal with this, the more tension you get, the tighter you get. We don't want that. We want you nice and relaxed. Third thing you can do as far as pace of play, realize that you're in position. They might not be, but you're in position. Don't worry about looking backwards. It's of no circumstance or consequence to you. Just keep your mind here and don't look there so often. It's okay to distract yourself. Think of other things. Get your phone or mobile device out. Check your emails, make a call. So long as you're right on top of them, you're fine pace of play. So now as I'm talking to you, I'm realizing, okay, they're still out there. Both carts are in the same place. I'm still not ready to go. What are the other things I can do to deal with slow play? Why not sit here and make some practice swings about, well, I'm trying to get my club out here and a little closed. I'm normally over here. This is a great time to be practicing these things to remind you of what you want to feel in your swing and the positions you're trying to achieve making just some swings you're trying to create some speed some fast swings so you can feel speed anything to occupy your time without occupying your mind out there until it's time for you to do so i take one last quick check they're still out there we're just going to let this video go to prove the point i don't care what's going on out there i just got to occupy myself right now i'm occupying myself with you by the way, while I'm doing that, click the logo down below, ring the bell, subscribe to the channel. You'll get a lot of great information within the channel, a lot of good videos. This is the first of its kind dealing with slow play. So now they're moving around still, still hunting for balls. They'll be moving here in a second, but that last cart's not necessarily in my way. So there goes the last cart, there goes the last guy walking to the green. Now it's time for me to tee up the ball. I'm not gonna do so until then. I'm also gonna take some deep breaths just in case I've gotten frustrated, just in case I have gotten that little peed off kind of thing. And I'm gonna go through my pre-shot routine. The more I go through my pre-shot routine and get set, the better. This is what creates the task at hand. I've picked out my target. Now I'm ready to play, having dealt with slow play in a really positive manner. Right down the left side, as I had decided to do, I can't really hit it too much better than that. If you've got a problem dealing with slow play, look at yourself first, not the people slowing you up, and deal with it a little bit better in a little bit more positive manner. Questions, comments, contact me. Leave your message below, your answer, your questions rather. I'll get to as many as I can, as quick as I can. And come on back often. We want to help you improve your golf skills.